my name is Lexi, and today I will be teaching about neoclassism art. Neoclassism began in the 1760s and lasted until the 1850s. In 1738, the uncovering of Pompeii and Herculaneum, which are two Roman cities that were destroyed by a volcano, led to the findings of well-preserved, colorful paintings, mosaics, and pottery. A German historian named Johann Winkelmann wrote thoughts on the imitation of Greek works in painting and sculpture in 1750, where he urged modern artists to copy the precision of the old artworks. His writings, along with the findings from Pompeii and Herculaneum, fascinated artists and sparked their curiosity for the past, which inspired them to form this new art style. Neoclassical art imitated what was happening in politics and the behavior of people at that time, which was leading up to the French Revolution and the Industrial Revolution. What was the French Revolution? The French Revolution lasted 10 years from 1789 to 1799. It started when revolutionaries, also known as rebels, stormed a prison called the Bastille, when a general named Napoleon took over the government, and which meant the war was over, and he became the new leader of France. What was the Industrial Revolution? The Industrial Revolution was a change in economy from a handcrafted and farming economy to one that was dominated by industry and machine manufacturing goods. Neoclassicism first started in England and France and it quickly spread to most of Europe. Neoclassicism was also important in the United States of America. The US art portrayed the ancient civilization of Rome and Greece, both architecturally and politically. Neoclassical art inspired buildings and monuments, such as the ones you see in Washington, D.C. today. Where can we find England and France on a map? If you look, they are both in the continent of Europe. The United States of America is in the continent of North America. What language do people speak in England and the United States of America? They both speak English. What language do people in France speak? They speak English. French. Neoclassical art replicates the art from Greece and Rome, which uses harmony, clarity, universality, and idealism. Harmony uses the elements of art, such as color, line, space, and texture, to create a sense of togetherness. Clarity is when the painting has a clear focus. Universality means that all people can use and share this art form. Idealism refers to the method of portraying people, places, or things in an unrealistic, perfect form. Neoclassical art focused on clear lines, purity, and precision. Neoclassical architecture was based on the principle of simplicity, symmetry, and mathematics, such as geometry, which were seen as virtues of the arts in ancient Greece and Rome had emphasis on simplicity, geometric structures, and the use of Doric columns. The style spread throughout Europe and could be seen in public buildings and houses. Geometric structures relate to geometry. These structures are regular lines and shapes. They are not free-flowing like most art. A Doric column is very thick and heavy. It is very popular in Greek and Roman architecture. We'll need two pieces of paper for our art project today. With the first piece of paper folded in half and start drawing the building, but do not make it the full page length. Make it half of the page or a little less. Once you are finished with the building, you may cut it out. Now we 
you can grab the other piece of paper and draw the background. But first, fold it in half, and the crease will be the horizon line. On the top part of the paper, it will be the sky, and on the bottom, it will be the ground. If you see what I did, I left a little square in the middle, because that's where I needed a cut, so I knew I didn't need to color over it, because you will not see it in the finished product anyway. But you can color it if you would like. Once you are done with the background, you can cut out a little square, cut it out, not all of it, to make a little pop-out shape, and glue or tape the building on. result is this cute little pop-up car. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had so much fun and I will see you again. Thank you.